I've spoken quite a lot before about mods which I think totally overhaul The Sims 4 and make it so much better. Today I want to focus on mods which just add small enhancements to the base game. These are very very vanilla mods, things that just are kind of like underlying in the background, more like quality of life improvements. But before we get into it, I'm really excited to share with you today's sponsor Midas Merge. Midas Merge is a really fun new mobile game where you discover and nurture cute creatures and gardens. In Midas Merge you combine adorable creatures to discover new unique evolutions and abilities. In fact you can combine basically everything which is what I love. But the thing I really really love is that Midas Merge is completely free with no interrupting ads. And not only that guys, you can play it offline. What sets Midas Merge apart is the story of King Midas and Queen Leah as they journey to restore the gardens of gold after it was covered in shadow cast by the goddess of night. And I must say, I absolutely love her sassiness. Midas Merge is my favourite relaxation game that I love to play just before bed. I mean, saying that I was playing it for about two hours this morning. <laughs> Especially in the Vault of Riches, okay? This part is really, really fun and it's really addicting. And did you know the game was created by the previous creative director of The Sims 4? And that's why I was really excited to share Midas Merge with you today. You can download the game by clicking the link in the description of this video so make sure you do so. Thank you very much again to Midas Merge for sponsoring today's video. So the first three mods we have today are by Lot51 and they are All Bugged Out, Bird Life and Sims Link. Now I've covered All Bugged Out and Bird Life before so these are basically just mods which add birds onto your lots as well as bugs onto your lots. The reason why I say these enhance a game is because firstly bugs don't exist outside of the outdoor retreat world which I I think is very strange and birds don't really exist either and with this mod you can actually just see birds randomly show up on your lot. They can even perch over tables and things like it's pretty cool and I just feel like it makes the world feel a little bit more alive because let's be honest Sims 4 worlds are not really alive with Sims and that's because they're very dead and empty but the mod at least brings your world more alive with animals and insects. Now the next one Sims Link is pretty cool so so if you click on the TV, you will see TV is not available. You can't watch specific channels, you can't watch movies. And there's a very specific reason for this and that's because we do not have Sims Link. What is Sims Link? It's basically your TV subscription. It's exactly the same as using the computer. You can play certain games like offline games and you can change your security settings and you can do writing and things, offline things. But anything online you require Sims Link. Now, now, if you go onto the PC, you can call Sims Link Custom Service, which is what we need to be doing, and schedule an installation. You can choose a time slot, and it's cool because if you click on the calendar, it even shows up on the calendar. So with this Sims Link installation, you can manage different add-ons. So obviously we want a TV service. Do we want movie channels? I guess so. Do we want music? Probably. So we can click on all of this. Is there anything else we can help you with today? I think not so. There we go. And they're coming tomorrow to fit it all, which is really cool. You don't really have to try hard to manage money in this game, but this mod actually makes it so you have to try harder. So our Sims Link appointment is here. We've got our Sims Link technician showing up, which is pretty cool. We'll invite her in. Janice is in her dressing gown because she's just woken up. The game wants us to select a surface to place our Wi-Fi router. So I'm going to press this coffee table here. So she should be placing the router on here, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, there we go. We've got our router. She's unboxing it. Isn't that so cool that we've even got like a network name and she's literally installing it for us. Like, isn't that just really cool? Like, I love the realism of mods. Your Sims Link internet service has been installed correctly. So here's our Wi-Fi router. We can even get the Wi-Fi password. We've got settings. We can rename the Wi-Fi. Shanice's Wi-Fi. Like, isn't that so cute? Do you know what I mean? We can reset the Wi-Fi password and then we can check our bill statement on our Sings Link app and it says we're being charged 267 simoleons every single week and you can see the price breakdown here. You can also call the customer service so we can manage our add-ons which is pretty cool like I can cancel our music subscription. Manage mobile hotspot so you can access the internet wherever you go which is pretty cool. You can get technical support which again is pretty cool. 
more. Also, sometimes if you try and contact customer service, it says, we're sorry, all representatives are busy at the moment. Please call again later, which again, like it's just like a bit of funny realism. Do you know what I mean? Now, even more realistic for this mod, it's going to blow your mind. Every single world is different. So you can see there are different options here. Fiber available, satellite dish required, free public Wi-Fi service and available. If you go into certain worlds, it will tell you. So this area here, you need a satellite dish in order to use the internet and same here. But this one, it's just normal. You can use it with a normal router. If we go into Moonwood Mill, you need a satellite dish for all of them. Batu's got absolutely no Wi-Fi, good riddance. And it depends on the neighborhood of the world. So I just think it's really, really cool the way that they've like set this thing up. I just honestly think it's so genius that like, every single world is completely different. Like just tell me that's not genius. Like I just feel like there's so much effort that's gone into it. Another cool quirky thing is that my sim can't use a computer right now because it's not in range. So I'm actually getting another router and I'm gonna place this router on my desk. So now we've got like a second extended router. We can actually use the PC. So you've got to like extend it, which I think is quite funny. You can even run like a computer internet speed test, which I think is really interesting. You can stream TV. Now this is a cool thing because in real life, like let's be honest, a lot of us watch TV on our computers now and you can actually watch TV from your computer now with this mod, which I just think is really, really cool. You can also tinker with the firewall. I'm not quite sure what that does though, but it gives you the programming skill. Now something guys incredible about this mod is that we have a Sims Link technician live career. It is literally a live career. Welcome to the Sims Link family. Oh God, it's like one of those jobs. We're like a family here. <laughs> A very toxic job. You get paid on a weekly basis depending on the number of work orders you've completed. So it's I, I feel like it's one of those kind of like pyramid schemes kind of thing. So we've got a Sims Link tech tablet and we can click on it in this is our handbook and it gives you a little tutorial. So we've started our work day. She's why are you being ratchet, Shani? Stop doing that, please. We've got to request a work order from our little tablet. We can do residential or commercial. Let's do residential. We've received a work order. This is so exciting. Travel to customers a lot. And now we're at the customer's house. We can ask to enter residence. Like there's so literally guys, this mod is so good. All this just in terms of Wi-Fi, like is literally insane. And then it tells you all the different things you have to do. And um, oh dear, guys, I've completely messed up. I have to return home because I forgot my work supplies. Oopsie daisy. Sounds like something I do in real life. So let me just install the Sims link on the PC desk and install the internet service. Like guys, this mod literally, not only does it give you broadband, it literally gives you a bloody live career. <laughs> like it's honestly so insane. Like I just can't believe it. Like tell me right now what mod brings this much depth into just broadband. Like tell me that's not insane. We're setting up the music service. Oh, and of the house, this is how in depth it is. Guys, we need a, a satellite dish that I'm plopping on the roof right here. There we go. Because this house is in one of those areas because it's on an island, they do need a satellite satellite dish so we've literally installed a satellite dish on their roof and now we've done it everything can work properly so we just have to run a speed test on the pc check me out we've done a work order you're supposed to do three in a day i only did one because i was taking it slowly but guys i just think it's so cool oh my god so that one's just a cute small one that i really like now seeming we're on the computer we may as well go over to the sim sim store and that is because our next mod is the sim sim online store so this one basically provides a really in-depth and amazing shopping experience for your game, which I feel like makes a lot of sense. Like The Sims 4 in general has like weird shops like Plopsy, but we don't have like a proper like online store. So firstly, we have to set up an account. We can either have a basic or a premium account and the premium account basically unlocks special occult items. So like more niche items. So we get the premium account. You can even get a family premium account, which is pretty cool. And it says, congratulations, your premium SimSim Sim account is ready to go have fun with exclusive shopping with us. And then it explains the premium benefits being access to closed VIP shop areas, delivery outside of your own property, free gifts for special life events and special discounts and promotions. So we will go back over to order and browse SimSim Sim store. And under gifts and promotions, we have our welcome gift. What will we have for our welcome gift? That sounds like fun. As you can see, it's very cross pack compatible. Should we get a little picnic? basket. There we go. And you can see it's in our Sims inventory or 
I've just placed it down. Now there's also something called the financial center before we actually look at what you can buy. Here you can actually get a loan, which we're gonna get, which is pretty cool. We've got a 2000 loan and we have to pay back 2100. And you can make your loan payments through your financial center, which is pretty cool. I like it. Now in terms of buying things, there's so much. So if we go over to supermarket and grocery, it all goes direct to your inventory. So you can choose from all of the different fruits and berries. You can get vegetables and things like there's literally so much. My only criticism, if the mod creator is watching, if I click X, it exits me out the entire store. So I have to go back to order, back to browse Sim Sim store, just to look at different things. It's a bit annoying. Like I will be honest with you. But anyway, there's a lot of different things, ingredients you can literally get. Like it's so cross pack compatible as well. We've got stuff from all different packs here. In terms of restaurants and gourmet, you can get ice cream, wedding cake, bread cakes, pies, ready meals. You can literally order a ready meal. Should we get some tomato soup? Now she's got some tomato soup in her inventory. Taking a look at health, wellness and sports, medicine, care products, wellness supplies, sports equipment, herbal remedies. A lot of these are from outdoor retreat as well. We got wellness supplies, like different kinds of candles, which I think is really cool. And all the massage equipment, hobbies and leisure, beach supplies, bonuses and specials. The curio shop, Sim Sim Rough. Oh. <laughs> Potions in Sims, Supernatural and Occult. So these are all the different like occult ingredients, Supernatural, like look at all this guys. Like it's just so insane. You can get all your magic stuff here too. On our computer, okay, we go over to web research and research Sim Sim market in dark web. Guys, this is so cool right now. So this is basically a minor skill, which is learning about the Sim Sim dark web. Congratulations, Shanice has discovered Sim Sim dark market and can now also explore a world of secret articles. And as we go through the levels, we unlock different things. So level two, we now learn how to shop in the Sim Sim store on the dark web and place orders there. And now we've reached level five of the Sim Sim dark web skill. Shanice discovered some valuable information about the Sim Sim store on the dark web and is now able to discover some secret items there. Now, because this specific mod doesn't add any brand new objects into the game, we've got the infection vaccine, which comes from Strangeville and we've got the Salvador poison antidote. I just feel like using this to get certain like random things, I just feel like it adds to the realism of the game. Like the menu has all these different like search options so you can really easily find what you need. Like it's so in depth. I just think if you want to make your game feel a lot more realistic, it just adds a whole new layer of depth and you can even get like all of the different collection items, which I just think is so cool. Like there's literally every everything here. And if you don't have a PC, okay, you can use your phone. You can go shopping, then browse Sim Sim store here. You can also call the Sim Sim store hotline and you can cancel premium, delete your account, know the contract terms, like there's loads of random different things. And if you are playing off the grid for whatever reason, you can actually do it from your mailbox too. You can order from the Sim Sim store via the mailbox. You can do like postal orders, which is very old fashioned, but if you wanted to do things like postal orders, you can do it. And because it's so cross pack compatible, like I just love it. So next up we have the social activities mod. So you might have noticed in my phone menu, I have something new here, social activities. Now this mod is great because it basically adds a load of rabbit hole things to do. So if I click on social activities first, you can visit family members, visit friends, visit acquaintances. Under fun activities, we have go to an art exhibition, circus, pray, read and meet book group, Museum of Technology, music concerts. Some of them cost money like the concert and you can choose who to go with as well, which I just think is really, really cool. And when you go to certain things, you gain certain skills. So we've got the violin skill, pipe organ skill, dance skill, DJ mixing, singing guitar and charisma, which is all literally insane. And it just ups your skill just a very little bit. And it does raise certain needs as well, depending on what you're doing. And of course it will give you a mootlet after two. Under other activities, 
activities, we've got go to the laundromat. And when you actually do this, if you've got laundry day installed, your clothes will actually be like pristine as if you've just done your laundry at home. So instead of having to do it at home, you can literally have your sim go into the laundromat and you can have them go alone and it will function in the exact same way as doing laundry if you have laundry day stuff, which is just so cool. We have holiday activities, trick or treat, Halloween party, go to a haunted house harvest fest. So if you cannot be bothered to celebrate sim events, like let's say it's Halloween in the game and you've got seasons installed, you can't be bothered to do it. Click on go trick or treating and you will do it as a rabbit hole experience instead of doing it like from your home, which I just think is really cool. And now Shanice is back from the laundromat. You can see she's got the pristine clothing bootlet buff, which came with laundry days. So that's why I really like this mod. It raises certain appropriate skills and or needs. Under vacations as well, you can take a mini two day vacation, which is cool. And if you have pets, I do not have pets. Okay, I'm just gonna add a dog in the household. Courgette, Courgette, come on. You're making a return. Here you are, darling. So now we've got Courgette, Courgette in the household. Actually, it, no, it, guys, it hasn't showed up. I'm, I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> There should be an option which says activities for pets. Why is it not on here? No, why is it? Oh my God, why is it not on here? Maybe, okay, The Sims 4 did break recently. Like it broke loads of mods. So I'm assuming we're just waiting for an update, but I, I, I can assure you, okay. <laughs> There used to be an activity for pets one as well. And if you have toddlers, there's also an option to send toddlers to daycare. Maybe it just needs updating by the, I always record my videos a bit in advance. So by the time this video is completed, it sh probably should be updated. You can also take dogs with you. Like I can take Shanice on a hiking trip with the dog. So that still works. Oh, Chantel's back from trick or treating. Did you have a lot of fun Chantel? I hope you did. I just feel like it's a great way to get your Sims out of the house house like when you can't be bothered to deal with them and you can't be bothered to spend time with them you would just say okay my sim's going to a book meetup and you can go with a friend or you can go alone I just think it's really nice our next mod is the careers overhaul suite so I have spoken a little bit about this one before this mod basically changes the way that your sim works so if I just choose literally any job I don't know we can choose the athlete job there we go so pay rates have actually been changed with this which means you actually get paid less than default in order to make it harder and it also adds different kind of promotion requirements I am going to cheat our way up in terms of promoting just so I can show you but you see the pay rates we're at level three now in the career and we're only earning 16 simoleons an hour it's still not much but they do this deliberately to make it a lot harder you can also see now in order to raise up again we need to reach level three three of the dancing skill which is not a base game skill so in terms of how this mod works actually depends on which packs you do or don't own and it adds cross pack compatibility to the base game careers if you do own those packs which I just feel like makes it so much more immersive this is how packs should be in my opinion we're gonna go let's go professional let's go bodybuilder and as you can see it says reach level four in the wellness skill which comes with spa day if you own that pack and it just goes up and up and up now, in order to really promote yourself from a champion bodybuilder upwards, we have to earn a biology degree. So that means if you own Discover University, you have to go to university to get promoted. Now, I gen like this is just so much better in my opinion. Like they should have done this with Discover University when it came out for all careers because with Discover University, you get a small buff to the general base game jobs and things, but it doesn't make it like a requirement that you must get a degree in order to go up in a certain job but this mod actually does which I just think is so cool like it literally makes it so much more in depth it's insane okay and then if we do some other kind of thing I don't know tech guru just using some cheats you can see we actually have to earn a college degree if we want to I've just promoted us three times if we want to get over to the fourth one we have to earn, get any kind of college degree apparently and it doesn't matter which field which I think is just insane we've gone up to the esports branch of the job and it's saying we need to reach one star fame. So in order to actually raise up as like an esports influencer, you need to get famous, which I think is pretty cool. And the media production skill, which came with get famous. I just feel like it's so in 
in-depth, like it totally changes all of the careers. It makes it harder. There are some minor other tweaks as well. Like if you're in the culinary career path, there's a chance your sim may bring food home from work, which didn't happen in the base game before. Like it just adds a little bit more realism. You don't need any other packs. It is base game compatible, but it is enhanced by other packs if you own them. Now, the next mod I have for you is the Smarter Pie menu. I think we can all categorically agree clicking on another sim and going through like all of these different interactions like it's too much it's literally too much and i can't deal with it especially if you own some packs as well like it's just so dumb the way socializing works in the sims 4 it's just really really confusing well with this mod when you click on a sim you can type on your keyboard what you want and it will automatically show up so what's an interaction we could do hug so if i type in hug you can see it shows up here and then it just pops up and then you can just click on it and it works. You can literally like if you type anything it just shows up. Obviously sometimes nothing shows up if it can't find anything. Like if I type in the word funny, tell funny story, make funny faces, give funny gift. If I type in get to know and then get to know shows up. Weirdly it works with interactions as well from other packs. So you know give wi-fi password from the first mod that we showcased. If I type in wi-fi here it will literally show up. This mod basically makes searching for social interactions if you know what it is you're searching for it just makes it a lot easier you know i type slap and now we can give chantal chantal a slap <laughs> It's just so much easier. Again, this is just one of those like small mods which I just use to enhance The Sims 4 and make it generally feel a lot better. Thanks again to Midas Merge for sponsoring today's video and make sure you click the link in the description so you can get the game now for free. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.